What should I do? Of course! It's a sign! It's a sign that I have to do Game & Watch reviews! He has forgotten that I am alive. Okay, GameCube, let's go! You idiot, I'm only a game console from 2001. I can't drive. Well, how else are we gonna go get games? How about walk to the stores yourself? I'm out of here. I can make him review whatever I want now. He will have no clue that I am his god. This game and watch is Mario Cement Factory, made in 1983. And this one here is Donkey Kong Jr. Released about 82 through 83. Now, how do you play a Game & Watch game? Grab two circle batteries, take the plastic off, insert the circles, put the plastic back on. I have to answer the big question that everybody wants to know. How do you play a Game & Watch game? Simple. All you do is this. Press one of the following. Game A or Game B. Do not press that time button. It is not used at all. Nobody uses it. Nobody ever has. Do not be the weirdo that presses that button. To give a better explanation, game A is the easy mode. Game B is the fast mode. Okay, now we're gonna learn the controls and y'all are gonna learn how to play this game. Oh wow, okay. It has the it has the D-pad wannabe. wannabe. Just like the Nintendo Switch controller. There's your jump button. Now that's basically it. Let's get on to the game now. Basically, all you have to do in this game is uh, save Donkey Kong from a uh, cage there. Gotta time your jump, and I failed. Okay, yep. That was Donkey Kong Jr. Now let's go on to Mario Cement Factory. In this game, what you do is you just uh, go around as a weird looking Mario thing. Just press the button whenever you want to open this, and there's going to be little things that drop. That's basically it. It's a very, very simple game. It's fun when you get into it. You see how you can only go across like this? Well, if you do this, you'll fall and die. But anyways, these are the Game & Watches I own. They released back from 1980 up to 1993. They're awesome. They're really fun to collect. They're expensive, but they're a great collector's piece. If I were you and you were the average consumer going to get old things, would I recommend playing these games? Sadly, not really. I just don't think it's worth doing because... They're just super expensive. I mean, 150 or more, that's a lot of money for something that doesn't do very much. Now I have to do what I did to Kirby's Dreamland for the Game Boy. Those are the Game & Watches. Now, what do I review next? Hmm. Oh, what's this doing here? So, this is the game I'm supposed to review next time. Looks like we're doing a GoldenEye 64 review. Yes. He continues to fall into my traps. He will review anything I want. I need to plan strategically to get him to review his next games.